Catus Maximus here, this time with a Rockwell Model 348 bayonet saw. And so it's not a jigsaw, it's actually a proper bayonet saw where it uses the special blades that are hooked over. Uh, it's a Rockwell, so the way they design is they have the blade plunger or the blade shaft, and then it has a screw that goes through that and then a nut. So if that screw or anything wears out, technically you can just replace it with any old screw and nut. It has a heavy duty steel plate and it does have an adjustable bevel. It had an anti-splintering piece, but I lost that a long time ago. Um, more commonly you'll see like a porter cable version of one of these saws <laughs> where this base plate doesn't actually tilt. It's just fixed and they're usually oil filled warm drive and then they have a bell crank system so it gives them a natural orbit. So this would be considered uh, a little bit more cheesier or more basic saw and it's actually pretty darn nice. Um, one thing about Rockwell products is they don't, they never made a product um, that was what somebody might say is garbage or is worthless. Uh, even a bayonet saw like this is still pretty nice with a 3 amp motor, has a pretty reliable switch and um, Rockwell always had nicely balanced mo motors and mechanisms. So even this bayonet saw is just about as smooth as that sander is. It's really almost glass smooth. You can hear it running, but you can barely feel that it's operating at all. Um, and so... Um, it's old school, doesn't have any guards or any of the modern stuff, or it does have a vent for blowing on the blade, whoop, a vent for blowing on the blade through there. It's almost impossible to see because it's so dark in there. Um, so it does have that feature. Otherwise, it's just a pretty basic tool, um, but it just is a jigsaw that will take bayonet saw blades, so sometimes you run into those and, um... They're hardly used now because the blades are really short, but they were really handy for cutting sheet metal because that hook, uh, the blades wouldn't want to pull out and they could really take a beating over an industrial environment. That's the one issue with the T-shank uh, jigsaw blades is all the mechanisms that hold a T-shank. It's just a small area on that edge of the T-shank and it just wears them out, where this is something that's designed to go through many, many, many blades before wearing out. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, just want to show you guys some of my uh, Rockwell tools, and anybody who has seen these symbols or sees Rockwell tools knows that they're probably worth picking up if they work. Alright, uh, thanks for watching, Caddis Maximus out. Please subscribe.